what's good youtube what's going on everybody and what's happening out there well it's a boy hello and i'm back again with another video on today's video that's gonna be a weekly outlook my bad people with the sounds that you guys might be hearing on the background voices it's my family i'm in my bedroom and we're back again we we, we spent the weekend the side family things and yeah they talking never mind that focus on my voice i beg y'all and i plead that you understand everything so we're back again with our weekly outlook so looking at the structure of the nas you can still tell that our overall structure is still moving to the downside prices been moving in high high and lower lows and lower highs current price we are not lower low so now if you can tell or if you can look at what's currently happening on this overall move price was sitting in some type of support you understand that this zone is some type of support until price broke retested and continued moving to the downside now it turned to a resistant so I did um indicate this zone saying sells below resistance because I now see this zone as my resistance. So what I'm looking for on the coming week is for price to pull back before we can continue moving to the downside or to break the lows and continue moving to the downside. But like so looking at this, I'm trying to show you all that price once reacted here, reacted again. And now current price, we're simply waiting for it. We're simply waiting for, for price to react off of the zone or to pull back on the zone, continue moving to the downside. So I'm simply waiting for what, for something like this, pull back to before price can continue moving to the downside, break the support, retest and continue moving to the downside. Because if you can look at the overall, at the overall structure of the NAS fundamentally and technically we are still looking at price or we are in a bear move fundamentally and technically so fundamentally we do know that the fed and the cpi did have a strong indication that we do have high inflation and inflation won't be high we might potentially sit in, in a recession phase and Again, we still have the war, Putin and the, okay, the Russian and the Ukraine war, and we're still having high gas prices. The euro, obviously, it's also in a recession zone. And what else can I indicate on? Um, we are having um, tech chip. Okay, we are having um, tech chip, chip tech stocks, which are probably like in a big move. Like, so the NAS to me, we are still in a negative state. So like I indicated on the 4H, like I indicated on the 4H, price did react but once here, pushed to the downside. I'm looking for price to react again before it can continue moving to the downside because I don't see what, okay, let me just say, to me, price on my view for this week, price has oversold. We're looking for what for pullback on exchange rate before price can continue moving to the downside. So that's my take on the NAS. I'm simply waiting for price to pull back or to exhaust before it can continue moving to the downside. But either way, I'm overall looking for price to print out a lower high, a clear and a clean lower high on the 4H and the hourly before price can continue moving to the downside. So looking at gold. So gold. So we all know that like gold was sitting, was sitting in some type of support Price did react off of the zone once on current price, but it was back in July, early in July, a month ago, a few months ago. So now looking at current price, we can tell that like price was moving sideways before price shot to the downside. So obviously once price broke the support zone or the correction, we simply wait for price to pull back before we can continue moving to the downside. So gold, I feel like I don't need to say much or I don't need to explain much. The only thing we're waiting for is for price to retest the support zone which it broke or the zone which it broke before it could continue moving to the downside. And I potentially see a what a falling wedge, this type of um, formation, price will push to the upside before it can continue moving to the downside. So I do have this 
was drawing as my indication you can see it you're simply waiting for what for push exhaustion push fail to break the zone or retest of the zone to continue over to the downside so that's gold german 30 obviously so german 30 broke so german 30 did break the the support so German 30 did break the support, the major, 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 major support zone, which it broke, obviously, from price breaking the zone, simply went for retest before it can continue over to the downside from the 4H. But on the 1H, I have something beautiful, a pattern which we call a bay flag, a push, correction, break, retest to continue moving to the downside. But overall, it's a push phase and an exhaustion or a correction before price can continue moving to the downside. So German 30, I still see price having a continuation move to the downside because we're having the what? The break. First thing, we're having one, we're having a break of our support. Two, we closed on, okay, our 4H closed below that support zone. Three, we're having a bear flag on the 1H for a positive continuation move to the downside. So that's it on German 30. US 30. US 30, it's also simple. Price broke our support zone. Price broke the major support, closed below the major support. Obviously, from a push phase, we simply wait for an exhaustion, which is probably like a retest before price can continue moving to the downside. So the 4H is simply waiting for price to exhaust or to pull back before it can continue moving to the downside. So from the 1H, from the 1H, you can tell that like price wants to quickly. Price is probably like having a quick move wants to quickly um, come back for a retest before it can continue moving to the downside with this candlestick, this engulfing candle, which probably looked like 365 move, 365 pips move to the downside, which is like a retracement or pullback in some way. But overall, we obviously know that I price pushed, broke, we simply went for a retest before we can continue moving to the downside. So that's my take on US30, USD CAD. USD CAD, we can't tell that like price did break the highs and continue moving to the upside. We're simply waiting for what? For price to do what? To pull back, to exhaust before it can continue moving to the upside for the 4H. So, so from the 4H, so from my 4H, obviously I can simply do it like this. For those who are still in the beginner phase, push, exhaustion, push, exhaustion, push. I still see the dollar having some strength in the CAD having some weakness so now yeah so now obviously we can tell that like price they do a push to end the week we will simply wait for price to pull back or to exhaust before we can continue moving to the upside so this is the symbol we still have some dollar strength some canadian weakness you can see or you can tell by how price is pushing or moving we're moving in high highs and higher lows so what is simply waiting for is for an exhaustion if we can continue moving to the upside or for price to tap on the zone this previous 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 zone from the daily time frame in form so that's my usd cad analysis for the coming week tesla obviously tesla did push to the downside i did call this sales from the zone let's wait for price to break this level for continuation to the downside we did see now price rejecting the zone taking the highs out closing bearish with a big engulfing candle to open the session for the next day and price pushing to the downside so what i'm simply waiting for is for price to pull back if we can continue moving to the downside on our key level price reacted once twice once twice the time so it reacted three times as a resistance as support and reacted twice as resistance so now i'm looking for price to pull back and react the support before we can continue moving to the downside bitcoin i won't analyze it bitcoin for now but we're still in our major support so yeah that's it ethereum i also won't analyze but we're still in our major support that coin i can't analyze but we did react from our major support but now looking at this with analysis from this, you can tell that like on current price, price on current market, on current price, current price, price has this kind of like sideways movement, price broke in, I'm simply waiting for price to pull back before it can continue moving to the downside, that's why I have this 
as my entry point. I'm looking for price to pull back or to retest the zone before it can continue moving to the downside. But I'm not analyzing it on our outlook. Last but not least, we're having oil. So oil is back in our $80 mark. $80 mark, which we last traded on previously on um, December is the 31st before we ended the year of 2021 coming into the year of 2022 so now looking at this now we can't tell the like price once pre price once printed this support this low price printed this low pushed to the upside broke this low obviously so obviously this is like a push phase, exhaustion phase, push phase in an overall bigger scale. Price pushed, created this low, exhausted, pushed again, breaking the low. I'm simply waiting for an exhaustion phase, which is probably like a retest of the low from the voyage before price can continue moving to the downside. You understand? So from the daily, so from the daily, we're having this low and we're having this high. So so let's simply wait for price to retest the zone before it can continue moving to the downside or wait for price to break those lows and can continue moving to the downside. So that's all well for me. So on the NAS, once we end the session, we're simply waiting for price to pull back or to exhaust before it can continue moving to the downside. Gold, I'm simply waiting for price to retest the previous correction or the previous support zone, which it broke before it can continue moving to the downside. German 30, I'm simply waiting for break off. I'm simply waiting for price to reject off of this bear flag with the break of the lows or break of the structure or continuation to the downside. US 30, I'm simply waiting for price to indicate the retest which is had, which it, it, it's been having for um okay. German 30, US 30, I'm simply waiting for price to give me some sort of signal or confirmation that like price did retest the zone. We're simply looking or are going to have a continuation to the downside. USD care, I'm simply waiting for price to pull back or to retest the lows before it can continue moving to the upside. Tesla, I'm simply waiting for price to retest the what, the lows or the key level before it can continue moving to the downside. Bitcoin can analyze, Ethereum can analyze, Bitcoin, I did such share something, but it's just my analysis. Oil, I'm simply waiting for price to pull back or to exhaust from the previous lows before it can continue moving to the downside or to break the current price lows to continue moving to the downside. So it's a boy once again, Halum. If you ain't now chatting with Halum, who you doing this for it? So that's all I got in this video. I know you might be guys, the, the noises on my background, the noises of the voices on my background can be a distraction and might be a distraction on the video while you're tuning in and while you're listening or watching it. But I understand and I beg that you forgive me for it. I will try and do something exciting or do something different, like analyze outside at a park, at a whatever place that I might feel like doing it from. If you can just drop a comment down below, helping me or showing me places which I can analyze the market on if my family is around because I'm always indoors, I'm always locked up and I'm always staying with my family. I decided that, you know what, I can't sit around my ass and not do shit. Let me just upload the outlook because I didn't analyze, I didn't prepare myself and I am ready for the coming week. So I guess we all have a profitable week and we all enjoy it. We have a productive one. We learn and we earn and we understand and we be better than we were yesterday and be better for tomorrow. So it's a boy once again. Let me show you right now. Who the fuck is it doing with doing the foot? That's all I got in this video. And before I end the video, disclaimer, everything I say on everything that's happening on this video, it's based off of my own opinion. The market might not move the way I analyzed or it might move the way I analyzed. So this is not financial. Um, this is not um investment um um investment um ideas or financial um um financial whatever that you call it. So it's your boy Harlem once again. That's all I got in this video. Peace and love, and I'm signing out.